Hi, how are you today? So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at some reels of tape, specifically some smaller reels of recording tape. Uh, most of the reels of tape that I've used in the past were seven inch, uh, and you can see an image of a seven inch reel, a typical seven inch reel on your screen. Uh, but there were actually many reels of recording tape back in the day that were much, much smaller than that. Uh, there was your typical full-size reel-to-reel machines, but there were also much smaller portable reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders, and these took much smaller reels of tape. And I'm going to show you a few examples of these uh, that I've stumbled across over the years. Now, the first one I have here is a TDK tape, TDK Tape 100. It's a three-inch reel of tape. And I'm just going to open it up here and show you. A very cute little reel of recording tape still in the plastic bag and just a little I'm not sure what this is okay so it's just basically giving some uh, specs uh, running time on double track mm -hmm. so basically it's saying that it was manufactured by TDK electronics company limited and there's a few warnings um, it basically says this tape should be stored at normal room temperature and under average humidity conditions, kept from any external magnetic field, put always in box to avoid dust accumulation on surface, and protected from exposure, strong heat, or direct sunlight for long periods of time. And uh, the text is in both English and Japanese. Very, very interesting. And also in the box, what do we have here? Okay, basically just another kind of little slip of paper with some information on it. Uh, it's mostly in Japanese. I do not understand Japanese, unfortunately. Uh, but there's the actual reel of tape. Three inch reel of tape. And if I recall correctly, there is something already recorded on this tape. Um, I believe there's the voice of a child speaking on this tape. Yeah, really uh, very mysterious and kind of spooky. Maybe in a future video I'll uh, play that tape for you and let you hear what's on it. But yeah, there, there was a bunch of sort of smaller portable reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders and this would have been the size of tape that they would have taken. Uh, also back in the 60s, um, telephone answering machines before cassette, a lot of them took these smaller reels of tape. So that's the TDK reel of tape. I think I found this at my local value village, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you from Radio Shack is this super tape. And I'm sure many of you who went to Radio Shack back in the day recognize this super tape. They also sold cassettes that were branded as super tape. As you can see, it says up here, low noise. And as you notice, the writing on the box is in both English and French. This was intended for the Canadian market. That's why it's in English and French. It says the tape is 900 feet, 1.0 mil, 5 inch reel polyester, laboratory standards, new formula, oxide coating with super linear response. Very fancy. And if we open it up, there we have it. And again, this is a 5 inch reel of tape. And there's what it looks like on the other side. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And actually, yeah, I remember I recorded something on this back in the day. Probably, I don't know, nine or ten years ago. And you always had a little chart. Uh, Realistic always put these kind of uh, charts showing um, how much recording time you would have depending on the speed and depending on the length of the tape. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think I found this one at Value Village as well. Realistic super tape. And the last one I wanna show you, I actually have two of these. Uh, and these are two five inch reels of Ampex tape. And what's really interesting about this, um, any of you who have ever been to Toronto Ontario, Canada. Maybe you've lived there, you're from there, uh, especially if you lived there back in the day. There was a place in Toronto called Active Surplus. It was a store located on Queen Street West and that place was incredible. Unfortunately, it's not there anymore, but that's where I found these two reels of tape. 
And uh, yeah, Active Surplus was incredible. It was kind of like a cross between um, a, a Radio Shack and a, a yard sale. Or yeah, it was like this big, imagine an army surplus store, but instead of having army surplus stuff, they had all like old electronics. It was absolutely amazing. And I'm so sad that it's not there anymore. But that's where I found these two five inch reels of tape. Now what's really interesting, it says up here, this is an Ampex. 641 tape and it says supplied to the rcmp by western imperial magnetics limited richmond british columbia now rcmp of course that's the royal canadian mounted police so i'm thinking these reels of tape were intended for maybe police interrogations police interviews this is the kind of tape they used to record uh, various interviews that they would have conducted um, yeah, so if we open it up, one of them is still sealed, but I did open this one and actually use it. And there it is. There's that five inch reel of tape. Again, Ampex 641. And uh, yeah, I used this back in 2008. I recorded a few songs on it, seven and a half inches per second. And uh, again, this one is still sealed. So yeah, as I mentioned, I found these at Active Surplus in Toronto. I don't know what I paid for them. Probably no more than, you know, $3 each. I know I didn't pay a lot for them. But uh, yeah, just a really interesting find. So again, this was my little look at various uh, smaller reels of tape. 3 inch and 5 inch. Um, again, I'm quite, a, quite an enthusiast for reel to reel tape machines. I think they're great. And on that topic, uh, I wanted to mention to you that I recently came across a Grundig tape recorder from Germany uh, that was manufactured in 1964. And this thing was amazing. All the writing on the machine was in German. Um, and there were some very bizarre inputs and output sockets on the back of the machine that I had never seen before. Definitely not RCA, definitely not quarter inch. These were like five pin um, sockets for your inputs and outputs and I'm going to be doing a video in the future kind of explaining what all of those sockets did uh, each one had a different purpose for the tape recorder so I will be explaining in a future video what each of those sockets did it's really quite interesting so thank you for watching hope you can join us again next time please feel free to leave a comment give us a thumbs up and as always please subscribe to my channel I post new videos every week, and it would be great if you could join our family. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.